The loss of muscle mass and the loss of function of that muscle is one of the biggest problems that we face over the age of 60. It is a huge factor in why our quality of life gets less as we get older. Today, I'm going to show you a simple test to see if you are at risk of developing that muscle loss, also known as sarcopenia. And I'm going to give you ways that you can try and improve your muscle function as you get older. Hello, welcome to another Physio Life Skills video. My name is Justin Scriven. I'm a physiotherapist here in Fording Bridge. And today I've got something really important for you. It is a simple test that you can do at home that's scientifically validated to test your risk of sarcopenia, or in other words, the loss of muscle and muscle function as you get older. Today, I'm going to show you what that test is, and I'm going to show you ways, if you're not performing well, that you can improve it. But first, it is not suitable for everyone, so please check with your healthcare professional first. And if you have any pain when you do the test or exercise, please stop. So you don't need a lot of things for this test, and that's why it's so good to do at home. You need a chair with no arms, and you need something with which you can measure 30 seconds on. It could be a stopwatch, it could be your phone, it could be a clock. Now all you're going to do is place your hands across your chest, shuffle forwards to the front half of the chair so that your knees are at 90, and your feet are just behind your knees. You lean forward from the hips and you use your legs to stand up, stick your bottom back out, try not to flump and drop, try and make the descent as controlled as you can. And you're just leaning forwards, up, stick your bottom out and down. Try and keep moving continuously. And all your job is to see how many stands you can do in 30 seconds. So we've done our test, you've now got a number. This is the amount of stands that you could do in that 30 seconds. And what we do is we come up to our chart here to see how you're getting on. Now this chart is a average, an average of a lot of the studies that have been done, but it gives you an idea of what the minimum number that you need to be over in order to reduce your risk of sarcopenia. So all you do, if you're a 62 year old female, you find your age category, you come across and you can see that you have to do 12 to get to the minimum. If you are a 78 year old man, you come across, you see your minimum is 11. So all you do, I want you to find your age on this side. Woman or a man, find the uh, relevant number and compare the number that you got to the minimum. Now, obviously, if your number is below this, then I want you to seriously consider a plan of what you're going to do to try and bring it above it. If you are equal or above this number, remember that this is just a minimum. Ideally, you always want to try and aim to get into the age category above the one that you're in, if you can, because the more strength we have, the better chance we have of doing more things in our life as we get older. So now you will have two numbers. You will have the number of stands that you did in the 30 seconds, and you will have the number from the chart value to see where the minimum you need to get to to reduce your risk of sarcopenia is. Now, if the number that you've got is lower than the minimum, then you have got to get on this. So I want you then to start a chair standing program and I want you doing it regularly. So what you're going to do is you are going to take the number of stands that you did in the 30 seconds and half it. So if you could do 10 stands in 30 seconds, I want you to do five repetitions of the sit to stand. If you can do 12, you do six, etc. And what I want you to do is do that every time you sit down or get up from having a meal. So that's going to be three times a day on average, breakfast, lunch, and your evening meal. And you are going to perform those number of repetitions, each one of those. Now the exercise is pretty much the same as the test. All you're going to do is you're going to find yourself your chair. Again, sit to the edge of the chair, 
Feet down just behind your knees, knees at 90 degrees, hands across your chest, lean yourself forward, nose over toes, and just do those repetitions. Super slow on the way down. You want to try and take three or four seconds on the way down and then land ever so lightly, as lightly as you can on the chair. Now, if your repetition number, you're finding it quite hard, i.e. you can't get up without using your hands, or you're finding it very difficult, then all I want you to do is get a stack of towels or a pillow, and therefore that will just lift up the seat a little bit, it makes it that little bit higher, and it will should make it easier for you to get that stand, and even more importantly, make sure you don't flump as you come down to the bottom. Now conversely, if you were on the lower side of your number on the chart, but you're finding the repetitions quite easy, then get yourself a weight, hold it close to you, and then just make it, it just makes it a little bit harder as you do your stand. Again, the same uh, technique as before, but you're just holding the weight close to you to make it that little bit harder and make the legs work a little bit harder too. So thank you for watching today. I hope you have a much better understanding of what sarcopenia is. I hope you now have a test to see that you can do at home to see how you're doing and where you are with your risk of sarcopenia. And also that you've got a really good exercise plan if you're feeling that you're struggling and you just want to improve that muscle function a little bit more. You've got something simple and effective that you can do at home. So as always, let me know in the comments how you got on. I'd really love to hear how you got on with it, whether you struggled with it, how you got on maybe after three weeks of doing the exercises. Remember, it's massively incentivizing for other people to read your success stories, so that can help others as well. And if there's anything else you want me to cover in these videos, then again, comment below and I can do that. Uh, as always, thank you for your time. Good luck with it, and I'll see you next time.